the Schumann resonance or the Earth's heartbeat having doubled, um, tripled, and quadrupled since 2014, um, pretty much kind of initiating um, a major change in our evolution uh, as the planet begins to vibrate higher and higher, um, you know, obviating the need for us to begin to vibrate higher and higher. And uh, disease sets in when we're not able to keep up with evolutionary change um, or unable to adapt to changes in our environment. And uh, a doubling of the frequency of the Earth's atmosphere is a pretty significant change in our environment because we completely rely on it for most of our body functions. And so in looking at the you know, drastic increases in disease that have taken place, uh, over the past hundred years or so, um, with the advent of you know electromagnetic pollution recently, and uh, you know all the other toxins that we've introduced into the atmosphere, uh, this change in our uh, electromagnetic field is going to usher in uh, even more uh, need for change. And so, looking at what we eat, looking at how we live, what we do throughout the day. Um, and making sure that all of our actions are conscious, Uh, all of the foods that we eat are conscious choices, all of the things that we do are are conscious choices uh, to live in sync with the changes going on on the planet. Um, So some of the things I I highly recommend to, to my clients is to try to reduce electromagnetic radiation as much as you can because they produce densities in the human body's vibration and they slow the vibration down. And we're starting to see studies on cancer cells showing that cancer cells vibrate at a much lower frequency than normal body cells. Uh, So having your vibration drop um, is being increasingly coordinated with diseases or correlated with diseases. Um, And so keeping our vibration high in response to where the planet is going is, of course, extremely important. So some of the things that I've found that that we can do is turn off our Wi-Fi connections before we go to bed. Um, If you can at all do a wired connection instead of a Wi-Fi connection, that reduces the uh, electromagnetic pollution and the densities that you're exposed to. Um, getting rid of your microwave and substituting it for a steam convection oven um, is is also very, very useful. Um, Incandescent light is better than fluorescent light. Uh, Keeping your your cell phones in airplane mode at night or or turning them off entirely, um, you know, is another... uh, another thing that you can do to to keep yourself safer. Um, You know, there are uh, devices sold where you can actually measure uh, the EMF pollution that you're exposed to, and you can dampen them uh, with with the uh, many devices on the market today. But I would highly recommend that you get yourself a meter to actually measure and confirm that the device is actually working. Um, Because unfortunately, there are a lot of you know devices that don't do what they're purported to say. Uh, and so I don't recommend any particular brand for that reason. Um, however, I do recommend that you have the uh, the electromagnetic fields in your home actually measured. You know, measure around your television, measure around your Wi-Fi, your um, your electric meter outside. These types of things, measure them, and then make sure that the device that you select is actually negating them. Uh, so that you're not being exposed unnecessarily to these um, dangerous electromagnetic fields that uh, bring on disease and prevent the human body from from vibrating at the frequency at which it is meant to vibrate. Um, What happens, these waves kind of entangle themselves in in the vibrations of our bodies because they're not in in sync with us, and so they create, uh, you know, traffic jams, so to speak, um, and it's hard for um, the nervous system uh, to actually function and to, uh, you know, a lot of heart arrhythmias, a lot of uh, digestive problems, 
uh, can be linked back to these these densities or these obstructions in the body's uh, vibration, uh, in the body's uh, electric fields, so to speak. Um, so this is extremely important. So looking at these things, um, and then of course removing toxins from the home. I always recommend the environmental working group. Uh, to look at other toxins that you're being exposed to that also create densities um, in the body and prevent it from vibrating at its appropriate frequency. Um, they have a, a great app that you can download onto your cell phone and um, take with you when you go shopping or when you're doing your research to buy new products. Uh, it's a great tool. They, they, Of course, you know, there's so many toxins out there that there are only so many they've been able to actually study and, uh, you know, render a, a report on. Uh, but major things like detergents and uh, soaps and lotions, um, you know, dishwashing liquid, uh, all of these things, uh, pesticides, um, they've looked at many, many of these things, and so you can get some pretty solid advice from the Environmental Working Group in terms of brands that are doing a, a better job of keeping their products clean. Um, so the Environmental Working Group is another um, really important partner in allowing us to move on, move on to uh, this new exciting evolutionary phase in, uh, in humanity. Um, what supplements can we take? You know, what, what sorts of things can we take that allow uh, our vibration to stay, uh, to stay high, you know, and prevent densities and obstructions in our vibration? Um, you know, these densities and obstructions are created oftentimes by free radicals. Um, and so free radical quelchers are, are very important. So nit nitric oxide um, is important. Uh, you can you can purchase nitric oxide, and what that does is uh, it helps you to make more energy in the body, so that your body can uh, produce function, uh, produce detoxification functions, produce the functions that will eliminate and uh, eliminate toxins from the body, as well as repair it. Um, so toxins cause damage. So getting rid of the toxins is one phase of recovery, but the other phase of recovery is is cleaning up the mess. Uh, and so the body requires a ton of energy to do that. Um, you know, toxins reduce our energy supplies, and so we need, some, we need things that can help us increase our energy supplies in order to provide the body with the tools that it needs to clean up. Um, and, uh, of course, sound nutrition is absolutely number one on that list. Um, getting appropriate sleep uh, is, is extremely important. A lot of repair goes on in our sleep. Um, in, in traditional Chinese medicine, we know that blood is, is made in our sleep, uh, among other things. And so sleep is a time of restoration, uh, literally and figuratively. Um, and so protecting your sleep, making sure you get enough sleep, uh, making sure your sleep is sound. You know, I have a lot of clients, they, they sleep with their pets and, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're awoken by their snoring spouses or partners. Um, and that does interfere, you know, with sleep. So, you know, if you have a problem with snoring, uh, you know, or your partner has a problem with snoring, it is really important to get those things taken care of uh, so that you can sleep because uh, we're all running around in energy deficits uh, in, in our modern lifestyle and protecting our energy like gold is extremely important. Um, and then you can add nitric oxide to that and then nitric oxide uh, kind of helps the body to uh, open up the floodgates, uh, so to speak, to get more oxygen and to create more energy from that. Um, Oxaloacetic acid also is another uh, tool that can be used to create more energy. So it helps the body to make energy. So these are supplements. They don't substitute for a sound diet, um, which we'll be talking about in our next segment. Uh, but these are just some, some supplements that you can add. You know, magnesium. Uh, magnesium is a natural calcium channel blocker, and a lot of EMF damage occurs through the mechanism of calcium. Uh, and so magnesium helps to dampen that or to, to mitigate, um, you know, that impact. And so those are some things that you can do in terms of some supplements. And then when we come back, 
from our next commercial break, we'll be talking about uh, nutrition. What can you do in terms of your food to keep your body vibrating, keep it ascension ready, um, and to protect you and your family from uh, some of the uh, side effects that a a changed electromagnetic uh, frequency can can cause if we're not aware and cautious and and awake, frankly. Um, So, again, please give us a call. I'd love to hear your questions and comments. Area code is 833-220-1200. That's 833-220-1200. We are right here on Dream Vision 7 Radio, partner of the Omega Institute in Rhinebeck, New York. Uh, We're going to take a break here for our next commercial, but we're live today, uh, May 21st, 2019. We're live every first and third Tuesday morning at 11 a.m., so we'll be right back after this break. What happens when we begin to realize that the 200-year experiment we've called the American healthcare system has failed? Learn how spirituality, ancient traditions, and cutting-edge science are merging to create a new paradigm of wellness on Awakened Wellness with Milen Riobe, MD. Tune in every Tuesday at 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern Time with live shows on the first and third mornings when you can call in and ask Dr. Milan the questions that matter most to you. Dr. Milan is the medical director of the Riave Institute of Integrative Medicine in Jupiter, Florida. For more information, visit riaveintegrativemedicine.com. Dream Vision 7 Radio Network invites you in for this dynamic, forward-thinking show. Omega Institute, offering workshops, retreats, and online learning dedicated to awakening the best in the human spirit. With more than 40 years at the forefront of holistic studies, Omega is known the world over as a trusted source for integrated approaches to personal growth and social change. Located in Rhinebeck, New York, just 90 miles north of New York City, Omega's natural environment and quiet pace allow for extraordinary experiences to unfold. Learn more at eomega.org or call 877-944-2002. Again, 877-944-2002. Are you a game changer? Do you care about creating a vibrant future for Humanity Planet? If you care, you'll choose to engage in strategic action in order to transform the realities of today for generating a thriving planet. Find out how you can do this. Read the award-winning book, Radical Transformational Leadership, by Dr. Monica Sharma. This book is a systemic exploration of how to work with and transform the interlocking circumstances contributing to the complex problems we're facing. There's a chance of achieving a world that manifests peace, equity, and well-being for everyone. And this work offers the readers the creative ways and means of contributing to such a world-changing agenda. Learn to connect with the other side and receive inspiring messages of peace, healing, and hope. Join psychic medium Bill Phillips at Omega Institute in Rhinebeck, New York, for Signs from Spirit, Connecting with the Other Side. In this weekend retreat, May 31st to June 2nd, you'll learn to recognize signs from spirit and discover how to remain connected to the ones you love. Mention discount code DREAM for 20% off when you register for Signs from Spirit with Bill Phillips. Learn more at eomega.org. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. Welcome back to Awakened Wellness with Milen Riobe, MD. I'm your host, Dr. Milen. And today we're talking about, is your body ascension ready? Um, so in this portion of our uh, show today, we're going to talk about nutrition. And of course, nutrition is always the most important thing in every conversation about uh, health. Um, without it, it's very difficult to get anywhere else. Um, and so nutrition is a big part of what I talk about in my, in my practice with, with all of my clients. I, I customize their nutrition plans based on uh, Chinese medical theory. 
Um, but I also use uh, other sources, and, uh, especially if I'm looking at something very specific for a client. So in the case of electromagnetic uh, fields and uh, EMF, 